have my lovely model Andrew here, who is going to be my demonstration uh, expert for the three exercises that I'm going to demonstrate. And here's the way the circuit works. We're going to perform each exercise for eight reps, back to back as a circuit. The objective is to perform the circuit as many times as possible in a 10 minute period. You can take as much rest as you want, but keep in mind the clock is ticking. And the way we would score this workout is that if you got three rounds of the circuit, meaning three, you perform each exercise back to back, that would kind of be your baseline and starting point. The goal would be then the next day to get four rounds and then five rounds and add to that total. So we're packing more work into the same amount of time. With that said, we have three levels for each exercise that I'm going to demonstrate. I want you to pick your level just based upon what you can do and you know, based upon trying things out. So for our first exercise, we have a push-up. And Andrew's going to demonstrate the beginner version, which is with your hands elevated. All right, and oftentimes, and you'll notice with Andrew, his back is flat like a table. What I'm going to ask him to do is just drop your chest down to the surface that you're pushing up on and come back up. Andrew's demonstrating lovely form here, exactly what I want. His elbows are slightly tucked in. Let's come back down and do one more, one more set. Excellent. Just like that. All right, now we're going to move to the intermediate level, which would be the floor. All right, so the same rules apply. I want a full range push-up. Let's get your chest down to the floor. Perfect. One more time. Okay, and we're going to demonstrate the advanced level. The advanced level would be with his foot feet up on a chair because the harder, the more, uh, the higher his feet are, the more weight we're going to be bearing there. So let's just give it, give them two push-ups so we can see it. Very nice. One more. Excellent. Stand up. Very nice. So for our second exercise, we have a squat. All right. So for our beginner level, Andrew's going to simply squat down to a chair. And this is what I recommend for people that are just starting out with exercise. What I'm going to ask you to do, Andrew, is spread your legs just a little bit wider. And what I tell people is to stick your butt out like a bad dance move. All right, so stick your butt out, shift your weight in your heels, touch the chair, come back up one more time. Excellent. All right, let's move Andrew on to the intermediate option. Now, squat down to parallel. I want you to try to get your butt down by your heels. Good. One more time. All right, and the advanced option. Andrew, let's show them two jump squats. So come down about halfway into a half squat. Jump as high as you can. Pause, right back in that position one more time. Excellent. So we have the push up and the jump squat or the squat, and we're going to finish with our last exercise, the dreaded burpee. All right, now for our, for our first iteration of the burpee, we're going to start elevated on a chair. Good, just like that. All right, one more. Give it a jump. Excellent. Now for our second one, we're going to be on the floor. All right, so let's start you here, Andrew. Push up position. Hop to your feet. Give it a little jump. One more time. Push up position. Hop to your feet, give it a little jump. All right. For our for our hardest level, we're going to go burpee with a broad jump. So Andrew is going to perform a burpee. Go ahead. We're actually going to combine it with a hop forward. Okay. So he's hopping forward, and as you can see, that's very difficult. Now the one question that I get with a burpee is sometimes people have issues with their knees, their low back, they can't necessarily jump. So what I'm going to ask you to do to eliminate that is we're just going to do a sprawl. So we're going to take the uh, jump out of it. Andrew's just going to come in down into a push-up position and come back up as quickly as he can. Yes, go ahead. So now, just, so, but what I want you to do is just step out, okay? So don't jump, just step. There you go. Now step up. Good. Right. Do that again. Right. So there you go. And doing that as quickly as possible is going to give you a similar effect in terms of your heart rate for a burpee. You just take the jumping out of it, all right? And that can certainly be done in the chair as well. So now, what I'm going to ask Andrew to do, I'm going to set my clock for one minute, and we're just going to perform this circuit uh, back to back. So we're going to do the advanced level for Andrew here because he is a beast, and we're going to see how it goes. So let's get your feet up on a chair and begin. Again, he's going eight reps for each exercise, back to back as a circuit. Ready, and begin. There you go. I kind of want to cue the Rocky fight music here because Andrew is a fighter, and uh, he loves to brutalize himself with exercise. So this is just another warm-up for him. Excellent, Andrew. Excellent. You'll notice the goal with this circuit is to work as hard as possible. We can take as much rest as we need, but the key is you don't want to rest. All right? We want to try to move quickly the whole time. And that's why I tell people, you know, do this circuit when you have time. You know, it, it first thing in the morning, last thing at night when you're not going to be interrupted by your phone or your, you know, or your children or whatever it may be. You're doing great, Andrew. We've got about 10 seconds here. Work. How are you feeling so far, man? Great. All right. Fantastic. Two, one, and rest. Very nice. 
So as you can see, Andrew's heart rate is up. That's about one minute. So we can either make it as hard as we want or as easy as we want based upon you know, your current capabilities. But the point is to challenge yourself, move up or down based upon your level. All right, and, and that's that's the goal. Um, what I would encourage you to do is try this circuit on your own. Maybe take two minutes. You know, if you're if you're doing this for the first time, kind of try it on yourself, see the effect. You know, experience the power of the 10-minute circuit, and then move on to the video. Thank you very much.